deepest. I'm like, Rob's really one of my best friends in here. But it I doesn't got, really feel like that at all. Because if you thought for half a second, you thought about my feelings and her feelings. Like yeah. throwing that back out in the open. I know, bro. I know. And if you're friends with her, that's that's just fucking dumb. And I lost some respect. Am I surprised you went home? No, no. If anyone is surprised, then I don't know what they were watching. Because at the end of the day, he played stupid games and he won stupid prizes. He sealed his fate by the way he moved in the villa when he decided to explore a connection disrespectfully. And this is why he's gone home. And Rob, 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 please, please, can we send him home? Why didn't Rob offer to go home instead of having his friend be sent home? Why didn't he offer to go home instead of Connor? Because at the end of the day, he was throwing a tantrum last week to say he wanted to go home. What is he still doing in the villa and why is he exploring a new connection if his connection with andrea was that great make that make sense anyway i digress hey there thanks for stopping by it's your girl valerie welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe click the like button turn on the notification bell for when i upload new videos and definitely leave a comment in this episode i'll be reviewing love island usa season 6 episode 14 if I have to hear Rob go on one more time about Leah, I'm going to scream. The audacity to say, you know, he's got justice for Andrea. And it's like, Andrea's at home. Maybe she's even forgotten about him. And so for him to say that, oh, I wanted the truth to come out because for myself and for Andrea, I wanted justice for Andrea. And it's like, so now that you found out that Leah is the one who was the driving force, what does it do? Does it bring Andrea back to the villa? No. So why do we need to hear it? And for him to say, oh, she's very manipulative. I was afraid of what was going to happen. And it's like, Rob, please, we have watched you go into the fetal position, crying one minute and then standing up and then throwing another fit. And so please keep quiet and then dunking yourself in the pool for, for God knows how long. Please keep quiet. We're not here for it. And I don't get how people are entertaining it because he's got his little cheer squad. He's got Aaron. He's got Liv now. And he's also got, I think it was Connor or C Cordell was there at one point. And it's like, what are they doing there? Why are they humoring this man? Why are they entertaining this nonsense? They can all tell he's lying. So why are they standing around? What are they listening to? And also for Serena. I don't get Serena. Serena is very close friends with Leah. When Leah was asking, was I the driving force behind it? Why didn't she give her the truth? Why didn't she tell her the truth? You could tell she didn't agree with some of the things that Leah was saying, but she couldn't just stand up and say, oh no, you know what you did is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This was right. This was wrong. That's your friend. Give constructive feedback. Don't just sit there and just go along with whatever she wants. Why? Why? I don't get that. Um, you have, you know, Miguel have a conversation with Nicole saying he's feeling some type of way about her continuing to have chats with Kendall. And it's like these boys make it make sense. Do you really like her? If you really like her, then put on pressure. If you don't sit back and, you know, allow her to do her thing. And when she's ready, she'll tell you who she likes between the two of you. Stop putting her in a corner. Just be yourself. And if she likes you, she'll come. If she doesn't, there are other girls in the villa. You don't need to force yourself on anyone. Um, so for her to say, oh, I didn't know you were seriously feeling me. Well, what do you think? He keeps pulling you for chats. What do you think, Sherlock Holmes? You think he's just pulling you just for the sake of it? No, he's pulling you because he likes you. So you decide, do you like him enough to be in a couple with him and to pursue this thing or not? That's it. Anyway, um, you have, you know, Connor coming from soul ties with Cassidy and it's like, oh God, what is he telling her now? Because now he's stranded. Leah dragged him along and then she dumped him suddenly. He's got no connection. According to Kendall, he really likes Cassidy and it's like, oh my God. And he's now talking, oh, I like animals because she said she's a vegan and she likes animals and she could never see herself eating an animal. And it's like, oh God, oh God, he's got no game. He was with Janae, he was secure with Janae, but he decided to play the fool. And now he's stuck in the middle of nowhere and no one is really feeling him that way. I don't think Cassidy is feeling him that way. I think she's feeling him in the sense of a friend, but I think that's all it is. Um, you have uh, Janae go to Sota's with Kenny. I don't know why Janelle is entertaining this, this little boy. She should be entertaining Nigel. I don't know why she's entertaining Kenny because Kenny is not it. I think Kenny is too immature and his immaturity is going to start showing soon. Um, once, you know, another bombshell comes into the villa. I'm so confused. I'm so confused because given how Leah has treated Janae, I'm surprised Janae has gone to sleep outside in salt eyes with her. I'm surprised because Leah has been abrupt with Janae and has been downright rude at times. And has taken the guy that Janae was coupled up with, meaning that Janae could have easily gone home. 
Only for her to go and sleep in salt tiles with this girl when this girl is having a crisis. Only for her to console this girl when she's breaking down. Where is the support for Janae when Janae needs it? Why is it everybody has to cater to Leah? I don't get that bit. Yeah, they're friends, but still, the friendship should work both ways. It shouldn't be a friendship whereby when Leah needs support, Janae has to rise. But when Janae is breaking down or when things are not working out okay, Leah is nowhere to be found. She's actually one of the people throwing stones at Janae. I don't get that. Um, in the morning, obviously, the girls decide to have a conversation about the incident at the fire pit. And because when Leah came up after speaking to Janae, she said, I want to speak to Liv. Liv then said, I want to bring Kayla. And as soon as that happened, Serena then stepped up and said, well, I need to be there because the four of us were involved in making this decision. They sat down. They had a conversation. Aaron, I don't understand. Is Aaron a Rob side piece or what? Make it make sense? Because why is he so involved in this matter as though it has anything to do with him? If he was defending his girlfriend or his partner in his couple, it's one thing. But he's there for Rob and for them to eavesdrop. Nothing good comes from eavesdropping. For them to eavesdrop and be standing there and listening to everything the girls are saying, why does it matter? He said he doesn't want to couple up with her. He said he's done with her. He doesn't want anything to do with her. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I think Rob wants to turn people against Leah. I think if Rob had his way, he would want Leah dumped out of the villa. Once she goes, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he packs his bags and leaves because that's all he stayed for. He is upset that she won upped him he thought he was manipulating her and when she actually played him this is why he's upset and this is why he's on a warpath and wanting everybody to turn against leah for him to be telling the guys i think things were, were sort of said incorrectly i think things were screwed and whatever and it's like rob move on you told her you don't want anything to do with her move on either find a new partner or go home those are your two options we don't need to hear anything more about this Leah situation because it's becoming boring all the time all the time um for Aaron Aaron is just a cheerleader please move on we've had enough we've heard enough about the situation we need something else it's either you go home or couple up with someone and keep quiet and Aaron I don't get why he's so much sucking up to Rob I don't get it is Rob the, the most popular islander guy is that what he thinks I hope Aaron is humbled by the viewers I hope they humble him and and make him vulnerable I think the problem for Nicole is she's not decided she needs to make a decision because she's going to wake up and both boys are going to be gone because now you have Miguel saying he's interested in pursuing things with Leah he's he hasn't really attempted to do anything because of Rob and Connor and it's like nah the producers must have asked him they must have told him if you want to stay a bit longer in the villa you need to couple up with Leah because I don't get why Leah is getting all the special treatment I don't get it I really don't she should have gone home she should have gone home um at the start with Rob, I think, because they were annoying. But because she's bringing the drama, the producers are going to keep her and make her the new Sydney 2.0, just be messy and, you know, playing, running through the guys and whatever else she's doing. Um, That came out of less field. I didn't even see him. Ha well, I think I remember in one scene, he had a conversation with her, but it wasn't enough to convince me that he really liked her like that. And so for him to say he's feeling something with Leah, that's surprising. I thought he was interested in Nicole and was telling Nicole that he's feeling some type of way. Or maybe the producers have told him you need a plan B, maybe. Because he was speaking to Connor and saying, oh, what's your current plan? And Connor was saying, well, he's thinking of pursuing things with Cassidy. And then you went, oh, well, I'm thinking of starting things with Leah. And it's like, oh, my God. Is it because Leah has asked that she wants to pursue things with him? Make it make sense. That's the only reason I can think of. Because she can't pursue anything with any of the other guys. And I though the two new bombshells said they were interested in her she shut them down so i think the producers have engineered a way that she ends up with miguel anyway the islanders receive a text message to say that there is time to go and play a game and it's like oh my god what drama do they want to start kenny receives a message to say they're going to play flex appeal i liked this game i thought it was nice and clean you only got to kiss one person and besides before kissing them you had to rinse yourself in that dunk thing although everybody by the time they got to the last person was drinking everybody else's whatever they they came into the dunk with so that's another story for another day so they started off with connor i was surprised that he actually pissed 
Cassie. But then at the end of the day, he had no one else to pick because his only other choice was Leah. All the other girls have friend zoned him. Um, he was asked who's most arrogant. He said, Kendall. Yeah, I would say that. I would say that. I can, I can see that. I agree with that. Kenny was asked, oh, who's the biggest poser? He went for Miguel. Miguel, it said, is a model, so I'm not surprised. He, Kenny got his kiss from Jaina. Finally, finally, he's been asking for this kiss. Uh, so Miguel was asked, you know, who's who's here for clout? And he went returned the favor and went for Kenny because it makes sense because Kenny picked him as well. And he decided to pick Nicole for the kiss. And it's like, oh my God, Miguel is crazy. He just wanted to show uh, Kendall that I'm still here. I'm still here and I'm not letting go. Uh, Kendall was asked, who's the least trustworthy? He said, Rob, it makes sense. Um, and he chose to kiss Nicole. But then Rob threw a tantrum and it's like, this is a game. Everybody else hasn't been offended. Why are you offended? Are you, are you offended that someone is seeing through your BS and they're not buying whatever you're trying to sell to the rest of the filler? Make that make sense? I don't get it and I don't buy it. Uh, Cordell was asked, who's the who's your biggest threat? And he said, Nigel, just because Nigel took my girl on a date. And it's like, this is not your girl. This is not your girl. She's your part-time girl while she's waiting for someone that will prioritize her. But she's not your girl. If she stays until the very end, it's because she hasn't been able to establish a connection with anybody else. And I have a funny feeling that Serena, the reason why she's decided to go back to Cordell is because maybe on her date with Nigel, she realized she wasn't his top and that there was a risk he would always leave her for somebody else. So she's decided to stay where she's safe, where she's wanted. That's just my opinion. Uh, Serena and Cordell kissed. Yeah, it is what it is. Nigel picked Liv and I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't think they had a conversation, but he just thought maybe since she's been game to other guys, maybe she'll be game to him. Um, He, he asked who's got no game. He picked Connor. That's the truth. Connor's got no game. That's a given. This is why all the girls are easily put off by him because he is quick to give them the egg. Um, you had Aaron, you know, uh, he was asked who's going to take your girl if you leave. He chose Kenny. He said, because Kenny owes me nothing. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kenny went after Kayla. That I can see, that I can see. He chose to kiss Kayla. And he pulled the stunt of diving headfirst into that little pedal pool. And it's like, nah, that's dangerous. He could have easily injured himself. But hey, if the producers are okay with that, it is what it is. Rob was asked who's going to leave next. And he chose to pick Kendall because he's feeling some type of way about being told you're least trustworthy. Rob likes the theatrics. Rob likes the drama. And, and this is why the producers are keeping him on the show. Otherwise, I don't get why he's still there. We all saw him cry in fetal position. And then we saw him cry when he said, you've just dumped three people and now he's decided to throw a fit because he's been called out am i the only one who's surprised at how seriously rob is taking this game the fact that he was said he was not trustworthy he's taking it more personally than everybody else others were told they're there for clout and yet they weren't offended and yet he is suddenly more offended because he's been told you're not trustworthy instead of asking him what have i done and you said you wanted him dumped from the villa but we can brush over that just because you are offended rob and lee are very selfish this is why they got along they're very self-centered in my opinion they want things to revolve around themselves as long as they are at the center of attention and they're getting the attention that they need from people they are happy otherwise it doesn't make any sense why why Kendall had to sort of bow down and say oh I, I didn't mean it in that way or you should have asked me would you clarify why what about all the other guys that were offended they were told you don't have game they were told you know you you're going to steal my girl Kenny was called out twice but he's not screaming and shouting and making everybody apologize to him so why are we having to sit through rob's apology or rob's expectation of an apology anyway or clarification i i don't get it um and then you had leah and miguel i think miguel has realized or he must have heard through the whispers that nicole is leaning more towards kendall and this is why he's decided to go for leah because it doesn't make any sense that he came into the villa never once paid attention to leah and suddenly he's all in on leah I think he knew that Leah would save him from a dumping and the producers must have whispered it into his ear because it's so random. It's unexpected. The fact that he told Connor he was interested but didn't pursue it because the other guys were there and then suddenly he's kissing her. Mm, mm, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, the Islanders are informed that there'll be a dumping so they all go get ready for the night and the girls are going to decide who they want to couple up with.
So while the guys are getting ready for the recoupling, you have Connor panicking because at the end of the day, he is not in a couple with anyone. He's broken up with Leah and he doesn't know who else is going to pick him outside of Cassidy. And it's like, you made your bed, you have to lay in it. You were good with Janae, but you decided to, 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 to flip the script and you went about messy. Had you explored things with Leah in a respectful manner, Janae would have taken you back. But because you're disrespectful and you're making sarcastic remarks, he here you go this is why you're where you are anyway the islanders they didn't even stop for drinks they just went straight to the fire pit and so at the fire pit they start the recoupling first up is serena and for me i don't know why cordell is excited or even the guys serena didn't say anything about having feelings for this guy she talked about how you know he makes her feel yes he makes a fail. She didn't talk about how she feels about him. She spoke about the fact that she's had a rough time in the villa. And that's it. And so for him to be that giddy and excited, I don't get it. She has no other person to pick. Nigel was n nervous because he, he was hoping she'd save him. And so if she doesn't save him, that means that, you know, he might be going home. But she's only saved Cordell because she knows the next time there's a recoupling, Cordell is going to pick her irregardless of who else is around. So that's as far as I'm concerned, what happened there? Aaron was pretending to be nervous. He knew that Kayla was going to pick him because they've been a couple. Her speech didn't make sense. Oh, he's going to be friends with my family for a very long time. He's going to do this, that, and the other. And it's like, oh, okay. It is what it is. Let's move on next. Um, then you had Cassidy stand up. Uh, Cassidy gave this speech on and on. And then eventually she chose Rob. And it's like, why is Rob still here? Why is Rob still here? He threw a fit. He threw a tantrum. He should have packed his bags and gone home. For him to be happy that he's been picked, why is he still here? He said he wanted to go with Andrea. You should have gone home with Andrea. So I don't get why he's still here. Next up is Nicole. Nicole gives this speech that's very vague and then eventually she picks Kendall. Am I surprised? No. She looked at the two of them and realized that Kendall has more sway in the villa. So at the end of the day, she'd rather be safe than sorry, given the fact that last time she was vulnerable. So I think she thought she'd rather stick to Kendall that way, if need be, that the islanders would save her. Or maybe, as I said before, Leah had no other choice. And this is why Miguel is being left available for him, for her. Um, and then you have, you know, um, Liv stand up. Liv was very tearful because she had to pick between Connor, Nigel, Miguel and Kenny. And we already know that Miguel was kissing um, Leah. So chances are she's going to pick him. Um, Kenny has been getting to know Janaea. So she's going to pick him, which meant that the two guys left would have been either Nigel or Connor. And there is nothing romantic there with Connor. There's nothing romantic with Connor and you can't blame her. Connor decided to go for someone he thought would get him more clout and sadly she dropped him like a hot potato as soon as a different opportunity came up, came a calling. And so, yeah, I get why Liv was upset because maybe they're close friends, but at the end of the day, she has to do what's in her best interest because if Connor's type walks in, he could treat her the same way that he treated Janaea. So I, I give her kudos for choosing herself first. Aaron and the waterworks, please. Aaron needs to choose which boy he wants to couple up with and go home. Nea is up next and we all knew who she was going to pick. She was going to pick Kenny. I'm surprised she didn't get along with Nigel. I, did, I didn't get that. Or maybe she wanted someone with theatrics. Someone to get her as much airtime as possible. Because that boy is very immature. I can see him moving on to his next conquest very soon. So I really hope this was a smart decision on her part. And I really hope she doesn't regret having picked him. when If he plays her the way Connor did. So the last two are Connor and Miguel. And obviously, I don't think Leah was ever going to recouple with, with Connor because she slept outside because it was very uncomfortable. So there was never a chance that she was going to recouple with him. So she chose to couple up with Miguel. Am I surprised? No. I think Miguel is more entertainment than actually Connor is. Do I see them lasting? Nah, I think they're both using each other until their type comes in. That's the impression that I get. And Connor, given the fact that he said, you know, we sent, he was very whatever about it when they sent hakim home while well, he's following hakim home 
Because he should have backed his guy that he walked into the villa with, but he decided to back the other islanders that had been there, the OG cast, and here he is on his way out, just behind Hakim. It is what it is. Yeah, he was upset that he was going home. He's met a lot of friends, and it is what it is. He, he sealed his fate by the way he treated J Jaina. Had he been nice to her, she would have saved him, but because he decided to, to play games in her face, Leah played games in his face, and he's on his way home. It is what it is. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and click the link in my video to watch my review from episode 13. Bye guys.